like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of GMS. And I want to say uh, peace and blessings uh, to the elect. All right. Um, this is the book of Luke. Okay. And um, I just want to go through an account in the... Uh, 14th chapter and uh, I'm going to read the heading okay uh, from verse uh, 15 and it says the parable of the great supper okay so it's a parable alright um, and uh, so I'm going to just get into it you know and Lord willing as always this will be uh, edifying so this is Luke 14 and verse uh, 15. It says, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start off some. Mm. I started 13. This is Luke 14 and 13. It says, but when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the main. You know, I'll go up one more. This is Luke 14 and 12. It says, then said he also to him that bade him. When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and recompense be made thee. Okay? But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee. They can't pay you back. Okay? For thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. Okay? Talking about when the Lord returns. Okay? That's the recompense. Okay? You get the recompense then. Okay? Which is salvation. Okay? Being saved. Okay? It says, verse 15, And when one of them that sat at meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat, shall eat bread in the kingdom of the heavenly Father. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, okay, and I must need go. I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed this Lord these things, okay? Because they all had an excuse. They began to make excuses, okay? Because they had uh, cares in this world, okay? It says, verse 21, Luke 14 and 21, it says, So that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor, and the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled, okay? And this is uh, parabolic for what the men of the Lord go out and do on the highways and byways. That's why you see the men of the Lord, okay? We out there every, every week, you know, fishing for the elect, okay? Bidding them to the marriage, okay? But um, I'm going to finish reading this. I'm going to go back a little bit. It says... And the, Lord, and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. 
For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Okay? Because they had, they all made excuses. They had concerns in the world. One had just got a wife, a piece of land, one got oxen, you know. So their cares were more focused on um, temporal things, okay? Temporal things, things that will not last, okay? But this, this supper, this great feast, this great supper, okay, is the eternal life, okay? The salvation, because it said, blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of the heavenly father, okay? But the Lord said, go out. Uh, into the streets and, and get the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. Okay? So, um, let me grab a quick scripture just on that one point. Alright? And then I'm going to go to the book of James chapter 2. Okay? In verse 5, it says, James 2 and 5, Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not the heavenly Father chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? Okay, so it's going to go to the poor, rich in faith, okay? Because this thing is faith-based. Alright? And it says, Had not the Heavenly Father chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, okay, which he had promised to them that love him, okay? Those that made excuses, they don't love the Lord. They had love for the things of this world, okay? So let me get another another scripture on that point, all right? And this is 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, Okay? So, had they loved the Lord and wanted to eat that bread in the kingdom, they would have not made an excuse. All this would have came secondary, okay? So, I'm going to go on in Luke 14, all right? Uh, and I, I pick up at uh, verse 24, Luke 14 and 24. It says, For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper, and there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me, and hate not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Alright? And whosoever does not bear his cross, and come after me, cannot be my disciple. Okay, because you got to you gotta let this world go, man. Okay, not saying, you know, just drop everything and... No, you still got to take care. You still got to make it through this world. Okay, but that's not our first concern. Our first concern, our first priority is, is this truth. Okay? It says, and whosoever does not bear his cross, and that's what we have to do. We have to bear our cross. Okay? I got a precept rope right there. Let me see what that is. Let's see. Okay, Luke 9 and uh, 23, it says, And he said unto them, uh, Oh, I'm going to start up. This is Luke 9 and... Uh, I started 22, it says, saying, 
The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. So you have to deny yourself these cares of the world. Okay? This comes first. Following you, how was shy? That's why the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, and they know me. It says, uh, His sheep follow him whithersoever he goeth. Okay? Through all the trials and tribulations. Okay? Because it just said what the Lord had to go through. It said, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected. Okay? And be slain and be raised the third day. Be slain, man. Okay? Verse 23, it says, And he said unto them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Okay? For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what man... For what is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? Okay? So, nothing in this world is worth your salvation. Okay? So, let me grab another precept. And this is back in Luke, the 17th chapter. No, no man can serve two masters. That's right. You know. Uh, who do you want to? Who who we who we ought to serve? Y'all by Shem Shai. Okay, not serve our wife, not serve our children. You know we provide for them, of course. Okay. If 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 we have that, you know. Even your own life, you have to sustain. You have to live. Okay, but that doesn't take uh, the front row seat before this truth. Okay, this is Luke 17 and uh, 32. It says, remember Lot's wife. What happened to Lot's wife? Okay, she looked back. Okay, and was turned to a pillar of salt. Verse 33, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Okay. I just got married. I just bought a piece of land. I just bought oxen. Okay? That's seeking your life. Okay? And that don't mean just chunk all that in the garbage. Yeah, you there's things that we have to tend to in this world. But that doesn't take a, a, a front seat over this truth. Okay? It says, whosoever shall seek to save his life, Luke 17, 33, shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Okay? Preserve it to what? To the kingdom of heaven. Okay? The everlasting life. Okay? Life eternal. Okay? Um, let me go back to Luke uh, 14. And... Um, I'll read 27 again. It says, And whosoever doth not bear his cross, okay? Because remember what it said the Son of Man had to go through? Persecutions, being denied. You ain't the Son of the Heavenly Father. Blasphemy, okay? Being persecuted, being slain, okay? It says, and whosoever does not bear his cross, that's part of bearing your cross, okay? Taking care of the body first, okay? And all of what it entails, okay? And come after me cannot be my disciple, okay? And um, maybe I'll do a lesson on the 27 on down, which is good too, because it goes into uh, building the tower and counting the cost. Okay, which is a whole nother lesson in itself. All right. Um, so that's that's um, pretty much it. Okay. 
You know, love not the world, neither the things that are therein. Okay, your life included. Okay, because this takes, this this comes first. All right. So you know, that's that's pretty much it. You know, Lord willing, there was edification in this lesson. You know, the point was made. And, you know, whoever may be listening, spirit may have been uplifted. Okay, this ha have helped. All right. And um, again, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of GMS, and peace and blessings unto the elect. On to the next one, Shalom.